Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Will you join me in my Ionic 5 and you can see the Autel charger hanging out back there in the driveway. So I just wanted to make an update video. I did the uh, installation video a few weeks ago of the Autel charger. I'm still having overheating issues with it. So I wanted to do an update video today. Everybody's been saying that it's overheating because it's sitting in the sun, but this is the commercial version. It's made to sit in parking lots. Uh, companies pay big bucks for this commercial version here. They expect it to work. Why, why wouldn't you expect it to work in the sunshine outdoors? So it is raining today. The air temperature is 63 degrees. So we're gonna see if it overheats or not. Now, I normally don't charge my car very much because I live close to where I work. So today I'm sitting at 47%. We're gonna let it charge all the way up to 90 and see if it has any issues. I would hope not because it's 63, cloudy and raining. But we're gonna do it anyway and see what happens. It's not raining that hard, but you can tell it's been raining because there's puddles everywhere. So we are gonna go ahead and get the charger plugged in. You can see everything is good. The screen's working there. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Takes a few seconds, and then it initializes charging. And there you can see it is charging at the full power, 39.3 amps. That's usually where it maxes out at. And the voltage, you can't really see, it says 239, There's a, there we go, 239 is the voltage. So we will go ahead and let this thing charge all the way up to 90% and I'll let you know if there's a problem or not. Now like I said, there shouldn't be a problem because it is raining and no sunshine and it is very cool out here right now. So we'll see what happens. So we're about halfway through the charging session here. The sun did come out, actually. But the charger says it is still delivering full power, 39.3 amps, 237 volts now. We're up to a banging $1.59. I don't know if I can afford this. <laughs> but uh, we got probably another hour to go. It's in the 70% area right now, and it's uh, going to go to 90%. Well, guys, unfortunately, we didn't make it. We are in an overheat situation currently. We charged for three hours and about 35 minutes, but then we got the warning saying it overheated, and it has been disconnected. I'm not sure who actually initiates the disconnect if it's the car or the charger it's probably the charger but how we're going to combat this is we're going to go in here will you shut up what are you talking about up there what are y'all doing is that a baby i don't know what's going on with that bird but it's uh not happy about something but what we're gonna do, we are going to come into the electric vehicle menu and we are going to go to charging current and say reduced. Now that should reduce it to about 35 amps and I'm gonna go ahead and start it back up at 35 amps and see if we have any issues. Now it's really, it's not hot out here guys. It's 75 degrees. It is in the sunshine, but it's 75. Oh, I left the car on. Okay, it's back to charging. This charger has got to charge cars in 75 degree temperatures. That's just ridiculous. Keep in mind 
This is the commercial version. This is meant to be used at 50 amps in commercial situations with, you know, in the in a parking lot in direct sunlight at 50 amps. I already have it reduced to 40 amps and it's still overheating. So now we reduced it to 35 amps and we're gonna see, can y'all even see the screen there? There you go. So we've reduced it to 35 amps. We're gonna see if it can carry on at 35 amps or if it's gonna overheat again. I'll tell, you have to do better. So we were able to finish the rest of the charging session under reduced power. It didn't stop again once we lowered it down to 35 amps. So you can see here on the screen that charging session cost $2.59. So that's going to be it for me today. I just wanted to make this quick video about this thing still overheating and failing on me. Since I did do an unboxing and kind of a review video, I want to make sure everybody's aware that I am having trouble with it. And uh, Autel's not too helpful. They did contact me one time and say they can see what's causing it and that they're going to push an update. I don't know if that's happened yet or not. Obviously, it hasn't helped if it's already happened. I did message the Autel tech support last weekend and let them know it overheated last Sunday again. Again, this is a week later. This is the next Sunday. But last Sunday, I texted their tech support and they suggested that I turn it down to 30 amps to keep it from overheating. And I, <laughs> that is just not acceptable to me because this is a 50 amp station and it's the commercial version. So it should be able to handle 40 amps that's what I have it set at I mean technically it should be able to handle 50 amps but I mean it can't even handle 40 amps and it's overheating so that is just very unfortunate and I just wanted to make sure my followers were aware since I did kind of endorse it during my review I want to make sure everybody's aware that I am having trouble with it and uh, supposedly there's a firmware update coming. Uh, I'll let everybody know if that fixes it, but it hasn't been fixed yet, and I'm still waiting for it. But thanks for watching this update video, and I will see y'all in the next one.